What was your client's reaction when she found out the charges were dropped? Devastated. She has told the truth about what happened in that hotel room. And she can't understand why Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance would abandon her. And she and her daughter have been crying through the night. Crying through the night? Yes. I spoke with you earlier and you said she could barely hold it together. Yes. She wanted to come to the courtroom today, but she couldn't because she feels that she has been denied justice. What kind of a message, if at all, do you think that this sends to people? It sends a clear message to women who may get raped or sexually assaulted in the future that they should think twice about coming forward. What happened to Ms. Diallo was a travesty. Here's a hardworking single mother struggling to raise her young daughter here in New York City. She went to work that day to do her job. She had cleaned a number of hotel rooms that morning and we went into Dominique Charles Kahn's room to clean it because she thought it was empty, because she was told it was empty. Mm -hmm. And she was attacked, violently attacked, sexually assaulted. And then she mustered up the courage to tell the truth and look what happened to her. Do you think that she's being put on trial here? All of a sudden she has, she has become the person who is being prosecuted? Of course. Don, she has been... She the reason I ask, and, and I ask you this because I, I've been reading a lot about this, about the prosecution of women of color when it comes to rape. Um, and do you, there's, ra there's race and class involved in here, and that's why all these protesters are showing up every time there's a court hearing, because they believe that she doesn't stand a chance against a wealthy white man. Don, let me just ask, let me just say this. If Dominique Charles Kahn was a bus driver from the South Bronx, or a construction worker from Harlem, or a plumber from the Bay Ridge section of Brooklyn, do you think that Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance would care what was in Dom Ms. Diallo's asylum application? No. Do you think he would walk away and turn his back on a seven-count indictment that a sitting grand jury of regular New Yorkers returned against Dominique Strauss-Kahn? Clearly, the DA looked at Dominique Strauss-Kahn, his status, his power. There's something here that Ms. Diallo thought she was going to get. Mm -hmm. She came to this country because of the promise, the great promise of America. And one of the great promises is equal justice under the law. Sadly, Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance showed that he does not believe that.